receptor binding assay. The principle. Receptor binding assay, or RBA, is a technique based on the binding interaction of a labeled compound called ligand to a specific receptor. The ligand is usually labeled with a radioactive isotope or a fluorescent compound to facilitate the detection of its binding interaction with that receptor. General Steps RBA, as applied for PSP toxin detection, is in the form of a competitive radioligand binding assay. A radio-labeled ligand, usually in the form of tritiated saxitoxin, is made to compete with PSP toxins in your sample for binding to the same receptor site in sodium channels. Since PSP toxins will bind to the receptors at an affinity equivalent to their toxic potency, the amount of remaining receptor-bound triated saxitoxin can be used as a measure of the total toxicity of the sample. A standard curve, generated using known concentrations of the unlabeled saxitoxin standard, is referred to determine saxitoxin concentrations of unknown samples. Step 1. Incubate finite amounts of receptor and labeled ligand with PSP toxins, STX standards or unknown samples. Labeled ligand and PSP toxins will compete for binding to the receptors in sodium channels. Step 2. Separate the receptor-bound ligands from the unbound toxins in the mixture through washing and vacuum filtration. Step 3. Detect and measure the amount in unit of counts per minute or CPM of the labeled ligand by scintillation counting and relate the total counts to the toxin concentration of sample using the standard curve as reference. Safety precautions in handling radioactive materials. Radioactive materials pose as a hazard. The beta radiation of tritium is not an external radiation hazard. However, tritium may enter the body through ingestion, inhalation, or absorption through the skin and may result in an internal exposure. Great care is needed when handling radioactive materials. Make sure to follow the general precautions. Preparation Designate and label areas for working with radioactive material. Label all containers with a radioactive material label and specify the isotope. Do not eat, drink, or smoke in the laboratory. Do not use mouth to pipe at any radioactive material. In conducting the experiment, wear protective clothing such as laboratory coat, disposable gloves, and safety glasses. Use spill trays and absorbent covering. Use fume hood for handling potentially volatile material. Use glove box for handling large quantities of volatile material. After the experiment, monitor and decontaminate both personnel and working areas. Dispose of radioactive wastes in containers labeled with a radioactive material label and the specific radioisotope. Remember the ALARA principle, as low as reasonably achievable. Distance, keep as far away as is practicable. For example, by using tongs. Time. Keep your exposure time as short as possible. Shielding. Wear protective clothing and keep radioactive materials in lead-lined containers. For the introduction to radioactivity. 1. Radioactivity and radioactive decay. 2. 
radiation quantities and units. 3. Radiation Protection The receptor binding assay uses tritium, labeled toxin, with an activity below the regulatory limit and thus considered to be exempted from regulatory rules. However, since tritium is still considered as an internal hazard, safety precautions should be observed in handling the toxin and good laboratory practices should be followed. <laughs>